There are a variety of methods of testing the starting and charging system available today. Many times they involve checking each component individually. Battery, alternator, starter, all separately. With those methods, the interactions of these components are not tested as a system. Consider the technique of testing the entire system at once using the L Power script written by Andre Shogun. The script automatically analyzes the battery current and the voltage across its terminals, providing a comprehensive report on the battery status, alternator, starter, as well as other high power electrical consumers. It is simple to record the signals necessary for analysis. Connect the black alligator clip from the USB Autoscope 4 power cord to the negative terminal of the vehicle's battery. The measuring adapter is then connected to input number 1 of the USB Autoscope 4 and, using a small alligator clip, connect to the positive terminal of the battery. Connect the APPA32 amperage clamp to input number 4 of the USB Autoscope 4 and select the 600 amp range on the APPA32. In the USB oscilloscope program, choose Modes, L Power, and then place the clamp jaw near to the main power wire coming from one of the battery terminals. Orient the amperage clamp so the polarity is correct so the direction of current flow is measured correctly. It does not matter if the positive or negative cables are clamped. Perform the zero calibration until the signal from the amperage clamp is in the middle of the red zone on the oscilloscope screen. Start the waveform recording, then close the jaws to surround all the wires coming from one of the battery terminals. Turn the high beam headlights on for 3 to 5 seconds, then turn them off. Turn the key to the key on engine off position, wait for a few seconds for the fuel pump to shut off, and start the engine. Turn the high beam headlights back on for 3 to 5 seconds, then turn them off. Turn off the ignition, and remove the amperage clamp, then orient the clamp to the main power wire at a position close to the one in which the measurements were done. Turn off the recording. In the USB oscilloscope program, choose Run Script. Enter the required information about the battery, which can often be found written on top of the battery housing. In this case, 356 amps. And press OK. The analysis results are provided in table form in which the measurements are grouped by battery, alternator, and starter. Parameters, which have values outside the allowable range, are automatically highlighted in color. In this case, attention is focused on the fact that at the moment when the starter activated, the battery voltage has dropped below 9 volts to a measurement of 7.2 volts. It is considered undesirable if the voltage dips below 7 volts as it may cause problems starting the vehicle, as well as problems with the electronics. What was the reason for the increased voltage drop? Residual life of the battery is 94%. Instead of the entered value of 356 amps, the battery provided only 335 amps, but a 6% reduction of available current is not critical, and indicates that the battery, though not new, is okay. Starter circuit is okay, all parameters are within normal limits. Now, compare the characteristics of the starter with the characteristics of the battery. Required battery starting current of the starter circuit is 684 amps, but the battery is rated to 356 amps. Conclusion: The available current from the battery is almost half of the desired value, thus the main cause of increased voltage drop when the starter activates is an incorrectly selected battery. Consider some examples of faults that have been identified by the L-Power script. This report is from a car with a bad cold engine startup in winter. The owner replaced the battery without success. The results show that the battery was not being charged enough due to the low charging voltage of the alternator. The problem was resolved by replacing the voltage regulator. In the following example, on the contrary, the voltage regulator is setting a very high charging voltage from the alternator, 17.5 volts. 
that is undesirable for vehicle electronics as well as the battery. Moreover, high charging voltage may cause intensive electrolysis of water in the electrolyte and the rapid formation of gas. This gas is an explosive mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. An electric spark, the flame of a lighter, or an incandescent material can cause an explosion of a force that is sufficient to destroy the battery housing. Consider the following example, where the battery was not charging enough because of defective alternator phases. Here, in the script reported, is written, current of one phase is missing. The reason for this failure can be damage of the diode bridge or stator windings. In this situation, significant voltage ripple occurs in the vehicle electrical system. In the following example, the diagnostician's attention is focused on the fact that the starter is not able to consume sufficient current from the battery. As a result, the starter will not get nominal power and it will crank the engine poorly. The owner of this vehicle requested diagnostics after a battery replacement did not solve the problem. The true failure was increased resistance of the power supply circuit to the starter. As it turned out, due to the oxidation of the wire terminal connecting the engine block with the negative terminal of the battery. The script is also able to recognize unstable contact between the brushes and the collector of the starter. Having such a malfunction, the starter may cause harmful interference to the vehicle's electrical system, but at the same time, it works almost normal or it does not work at all. It should be noted that other problems will look similar, such as loose wires and worn contacts of the solenoid relay of the starter. If diesel engine glow plugs are activated during the measurement process, the script provides additional information about the status of the glow plugs and its control relay.